Welcome to the Mayor Show. Today we have another great show for you. A, a very important thing happening in Ben Salem, a couple years old. It's called the Ben Salem Education Foundation. Is it educational or education? Education. Education Foundation. And uh, it's two years old, doing a lot of work. Uh, to, to my right, I have with us Charlotte Moser. Charlotte is president of the organization. And to my left is Tammy Woods. It's not Ward, but it's Woods, Tommy Woods, who is secretary. We've been longtime friends, so we can kid around once in a while. But uh, both of these young ladies have been very, very instrumental in this foundation. And we want to tell you a little bit about it. If you don't know about it, uh, after today you will. It's all about our Ben Salem schools, all of the township schools, and uh, of the great work they do with fundraising and how they get their job done. And it's very important. So. Uh, Hopefully you get a lot of information. Hopefully you can maybe help. At the end of the show, we'll, you'll get all kind of phone numbers and place where you can email. So uh, we'll give them all that information. Sure, I'll start with you. You're president. Give us a little idea about the foundation. Tell sure. us about it. The foundation started, uh, as you said, a couple of years ago. And it really uh, started around the time that the high school renovation project was embarked upon. That was the impetus for starting it, but it really was a vision of the superintendent that was here before, Dr. Ba, to have a, an, a, a foundation that could raise funds for things that weren't covered in the school district. So um, while our focus right now has been on the high school renovation, our goals really are to address needs in all, all nine of the school districts in the Ben Salem Which Township. Which is plenty. Yeah, and these yes. are things that the district not funding where you do over and above that you right. do things for any them. additional resources that can come into the school at the at the end of the day they make things better for our kids and that's what we're all about well uh, we're going to go over to your secretary who Very keeps good. all the books and make sure it's running Tammy <laughs> uh, tell us about you know about your role in it and how you, how this uh, accomplishments I know there's many yes. we're going to talk about fundraiser we're going to mm -hmm. talk about coming events so tell us a little bit so um, as Charlotte had mentioned, we um, started um, a group of us as administrators and some concerned community members um, with the help of Dr. Ball came together to start this foundation in order to s offset or supplement some of the additional costs. So since then, we have obtained our 501c3 nonprofit status and um, we have several different committees that Charlotte might be able to highlight a little bit more. But my role as, as secretary and chair of the event committee um, some of you may have seen or been a part of our first gala that we held last year, which was very successful in raising some funds. And one of our most current uh, events that's coming up is our Family Fun Day, which I'm super excited about. It's going to be held at Cherokee Day Camp here in Ben Salem off Decoration Ave. And we're going to have guest appearances by the Philly Fanatic, Boomer, and families will be able to participate and utilize all of the camps already services that exist. We want the kids exist. there for that kind of We stuff. absolutely want the kids. The reason and goal behind us deciding to have this family fun event was to bring families together so that they could spend time together in a healthy, safe environment and get to know your neighbors as well. Um, the weather's changing, school's going to be letting out soon, and we thought what a great way to kick off the summer and help the Education Foundation. But it, when it as Charlotte mentioned, it all comes down to what can we do for our students and our community to make it a healthy, safe What's that date again? What's pace. the date of it? It's going to be Saturday, June 4th from 11 to 3. And if it happens to rain, we do have a rain date of Sunday, June 5th, okay. again from 11 to 3. So, so it sounds like a great day. Can't wait. And by the way, uh, you two are on the board, but I'm sure you have many more board members. How many members do you have? Sure, we have about 15 board members, and we have a really good array of people. We have some school administrators. We have current and former teachers. We have community mem members in terms of business owners as well as uh, parents with kids either currently in the district or who've graduated from the district. So we have a nice selection. We have uh, some community officials. Fred Heron is on our board. So we have a nice cross-section of the community represented on the board. And it, it really makes our board meetings productive because we all bring different points of view and we can really talk through different issues and, and come to good sound yeah, well, conclusions. I, you know, education is so important. I mean, the most important thing for our, for our youngsters. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know the school district tries to do their best mm -hmm. to provide everything, and you guys are going over and above that. And yes. finding ways to uh, fund different things and 
Why don't you tell us about, I think he had some successes. Sure. So we've, we've been raising money the whole time that we've been kind of also doing all of the things you need to do to become a nonprofit. Uh, and most of our efforts early on have focused on the high school and the renovations because there's a lot of opportunities for either community members or businesses uh, to help us in, the, in this renovation. They can uh, do donations to name areas of the building or to buy equipment that's needed in the building. Um, but early on, we've been able to also work outside of the high school. So we uh, were one of three grant recipients to uh, accept a grant on behalf of Schaefer so they could build a community garden out behind their building. I visited that. Is it great? Year. Isn't it great? Yeah. They yeah. They always have their well, produce Well, I'm into out, that, so, so. I would see the kids. <laughs> and I, as a farmer all my life, <laughs> and, and I continue to garden so. as, to this day, and, and, and that it's, it's important for the youngsters yeah. to understand it. So if they see mm -hmm. a tomato... Mm -hmm. in the store on that, something they think it just didn't appear there it that's came right. from a that's right Where and it came uh, from. the environment how important that is to mm -hmm. take care of our environment and plant life is all about that tell me about the mission your mission your what you're out to accomplish so i, th I think charlotte kind of summarized that it's really to make ben salem schools as good as they can be as you mentioned the school district's already doing its part but we as community members also need to do our part. And anything that the Education Foundation is doing is just to attempt to enhance it above and beyond what the budget allows for. Do you have any uh, corporates that help you or anybody like that just getting involved? We have a big community. Do you want to mention sure. about Coca-Cola or? Go ahead. That's all right. So we, we did have early on, we had a sponsor, uh, Jeff Purr at the high school worked with Coca-Cola so that we could get a new scoreboard in the football stadium. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's been our, one of our early successes. We've been collaborating with community members. We uh, did a, a program with Riggins, the convenience store and gas station on okay. Street Road. Mm -hmm. uh, and we offered uh, reduced pricing for coffee and that money was raised and went to the cafeteria. So that was a nice uh, collaborative event, uh, collaborative program with uh, that community uh, business. We've, and we, we get a lot of help from from businesses in the community, even if it's not necessarily financial. So, as I mentioned, Cherokee Day Camp uh, is where we're having our fun event. Uh, the owner, Mark Wilson, is on our board, so he actually recently donated two-week camp passes so that wow. each elementary school could raffle a, a chance for a child in the school to go for two weeks free this summer. Um, and so that's been fun. And all the money that's raised from that, we're actually giving back to that elementary school. We've set up spirit accounts for each school. So it's nice because the money they raise in their building will go right back to their building. Uh, and then, you know, we, we collaborate uh, in terms of talking with people like members of parks. We've had a donation from parks. And uh, we've also been able to get help from them in terms of looking for volunteers for our community event. And so we're, we're developing some really nice community partnerships. Well, that's what it's about. Mm -hmm. It is the community. Absolutely. And volunteers, a lot of people volunteer their time, and that's so important. I stress that all the time here in Ben Salem. We've been very mm -hmm. fortunate. We have a lot of volunteers mm -hmm. in, in all aspects that come out, all of our, our, our groups, all of the, uh, the, the, the Lions, the Kiwanis, Kiwanis, Kiwanis every one of them. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. every one of the uh, groups help. Uh, I belong to all of them. I don't get to all their meetings, but I belong to all of them because they do such a great job. The Rotary, everybody comes together. I'm a team guy. I believe teams mm -hmm. win. Mm -hmm. Well, I, and that, that brings up a good point because one of our current fundraisers is we're selling bricks for outside of the high school, and it's going to be called Owl Walk, so everybody can get a brick and put their name on it. Um, but we're doing that in collaboration with the Alumni Association. So it's been a great okay. opportunity to partner with them and the, the funds that we raise are going to go to the new library to needs, you know, equipment maybe that isn't, need, isn't part of the renovation budget, but things that they'll need in their new space. And that'll be donated on how behalf often, of both of our organizations. How often do you work on this? How often do you, how much time do you really? We, well, we meet once a month as a board. And then separate from that, each committee that exists uh, designates its own um, time on how often they need mm -hmm. to meet based off what's happening. So for example, with our Family Fun Day coming up on June 4th, we're obviously meeting a little more regularly and often to make sure that we're finalizing all the details. Well, tell us how we get there. You told me about the Fun Day. Well, how do people get there? What are we doing? How do we, 
How do we get them there? Do we sell tickets? Do we? Excellent question. So if you go to our website, if you go to bensalemsd.org backslash BEF for Ben Salem Education Foundation, you can order tickets online or certainly um, you can purchase tickets at the door. We're accepting cash only at the door so that folks know um, in order to support that. What would it cost? Good, another good question. So it all depends. If you're three and under, it's free. Okay, right? so I'm paying. <laughs> I'm paying. <laughs> um, as an individual, if you come as an individual, it's twelve dollars. But if you have um, up to five people, you get a family rate of forty-five dollars. Forty-five dollars for up to five people entering at once. Or if you have a group rate, then it's only eight dollars a person. What are we doing when we get there? Oh, you're going to play with the fanatic. You're going to have high school students doing face painting. You bring your swimsuit because you can go swimming. I or like to eat. Come on, is there anything to eat? You can either do a pick, a pack, a picnic lunch, or you can buy um, hot dogs and French fries. Okay. There may even be some Rita's water ice available okay. for those that are interested. So we're trying to make it as family friendly as possible. We understand that you know money can be difficult for anybody, um, but there's certainly um, a ton of activities that are being offered. There's zip lines for the kids, yeah, basketball. Yeah, you yeah. can bring your swimsuit and go swimming. Like I said, the fanatic will be there. Pony rides, a dunk tank. Oh, dunk tank. You it's go. a dunk. The, the the superintendent. Dr. Lee, our superintendent, will be in the dunk tank. At really. Point. Um, as well as um, one of our elementary school principals and one of our elementary school counselors. So we have a couple. Mayor. You want to go in the dunk tank? I won't go in the dunk tank. <laughs> I have a good excuse. <laughs> I have very bad ears, so I can't okay. go in the dunk tank. Okay, okay. Um, so good try. There will be. <laughs> it doesn't hurt to try. Um, and parking, just so people are aware, because there's limited parking at Charity Day Camp, we are offering um, a shuttle service from either Belmont Elementary School or Valley okay. Elementary School. So a bus will be going around, picking up families and bringing you, so in case you have any difficulty walking, and so that we're not burdening the neighbors um, that surround Cherokee Day Camp with yeah, um, with transportation and so forth. We've had some problems in the past. Sure. I think we have it all straightened out now. Thank sure. You. I understand they're very smooth. Good. Good idea having a shuttle. Yeah. And it's a free shuttle, and there's yep. also a free gift for the first 200 kids that come. Oh, wow. And get a little special gift. So, we're hoping lots of kids will come out. We have some uh, bouncers, right? And there's some pony rides. Bouncers, as somebody So, the moon, moon the moon bounce. The moon bounce. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, we probably need to have those kind of bouncers, too. But God forbid. <laughs> not at a family day. Everyone's, yeah. everyone's going to be on their best behavior, I'm sure. Oh, and, sure. The, and the sun's going to be out. <laughs> oh, it sounds like a great event, and you're excited about Very it. Very excited, that's neat. can't wait. And uh, we'll hold this up, and I'm sure that uh, Aaron's going to put that on at some point in time. Uh, that's the fun day that you're looking at there, family yep. fun day. The key word to me there is family. Correct. That's the key word, right. and uh, a great opportunity to get out and enjoy with, with your neighbors, what you're that's talking right. about. Right. Family yeah. neighbors. Um, and with the group rates, it's nice because if a Cub Scout group wants to come or Girl Scouts, they can get discounted tickets, and then they can bring their, their troop, yeah. and they don't need to spend as much. We're really trying to make it as, as feasible as possible for families, and that's another reason that we're allowing picnic lunch. You, know, you don't need to come and spend any more money. Mm -hmm. You can if you'd like. We'll have raffles of a family fun raffle, summer fun uh, themed raffle basket, and um, I think uh, maybe Just for the Kids is going to be there uh, because they're having a Trenton Thunder night, and so oh, okay. they're going to be selling their tickets for that. Um, but you don't have to come and spend more money, and that's the nice part. Once you buy your ticket, you're in, and, and your kids can have fun, and you can have fun with them. So we're really hoping not only Mom and Dad, but Grandma and Grandpa will come along too. All right, hold your thoughts because you're going to have the last say. Okay. You have next to the last say, Tammy. Okay. Anything you want to bring up? No, I just, you know, I encourage the community members that have not heard of the Ben Salem Education Foundation to please reach out to us. I work for the school district as a supervisor of pupil services, so you can always call me through the school district, or certainly I encourage you to go to our website that I know will be posted throughout the show at different times. Um, th there are plenty of opportunities oh, to get yeah. involved um, through the several committees that you'll see there and um, at an event. So we look forward to hearing from you, but more importantly, hope that you would like to get involved and, and participate. Good job. Thank you, Mayor. Good job. You have the last word, dear. Thank you. So uh, as Tammy said, I think there are a lot of ways that people can get involved and uh, we're set up so that we do have the board that meets monthly, but our committees are really, I think, less 
less of an effort for people who are interested but maybe feel like they don't have a lot of time. And they're also very uh, specific. So we have an athletic committee that focuses on raising funds for the athletic department. We have a performing arts committee that focuses on the needs of the band and the, the students that perform. We have an artwork preservation committee who cataloged all of the work on the, art, on the walls before the renovation started. And now they're working on raising funds so that we can put uh, framed images of those pieces of art in the finished building. And we have other committees, the events committee, the sidewalk, Stamp. the pavers committee. And so even if you only have a little bit of time, but if something seems interesting, we hope you'll look into what we're doing. And, and get in touch with And you. get in touch. Education Foundation uh, at bensalemsd.org is our email address. And we're right on the school district's webpage. Well, what a pleasure today. Thank you. And Thank you for having day. us. Oh, come on. You guys are great. Tabby. Thank you good. so much, Mayor. Oh, good to have you. And don't forget June 4th, that's an upcoming event. So yep. don't forget 11 to 3? Yes, 11, 11 to, 3 to 3 at Cherokee Daycare. Yep. And if they come, they can pay at the door? Yes, cash at the door. And families, the most important thing we can do. Mm -hmm. Take care of families, go with your children, have a good time. Until next time, everybody, God bless.